fight against And if you want my opinion I let it take me away Only relief is the four on the floor And the crowd that goes Hi folks, I hope you're having a good day And welcome back to my channel So on Instagram for a long time In the advertisement section I've been seeing these What are they called? contour gauges for quite a while and I never had one and I thought well that's a good idea and they're a device that you put down and I will show you how it works and how you use it you put it down and you copy your angle or your pattern um, and then you trace the wood so then you cut around it with say a jigsaw so for example I'll take the smaller of the two and this one is actually it has less friction. I have loosened these four screws here. But anyway, when you're cutting some, I'll try to show you this um, this way. When you're cutting something, say on the floor, or you're trying to match an angle uh, for something you're going to make with wood, you want to copy your angle. Say you're doing trim a floor, and there's trim around it, or closet, or something like that. What you're going to do is you're going to put this on there and you're going to get your angle and then when you're done you're going to take this you're going to put it on wood and you're going to trace around it with the pencil and then you're going to come back and you're going to cut it with say your jigsaw or sawzall or something like that now i saw them i thought it was a good idea so i was sent one for a review and i thought well that's great because i would buy it for myself now on the bigger of the two which is the blue one there was more friction in this. So again, I loosened these three screws, but also I took out one of the tines. Now, your resolution is a function of how thin these tines or slats are. Sorry, so it's that thin. So if it was thinner, it would be better. And if these were metal, there would probably be less friction. But there was a lot of friction in this, so I took out one of them. So there's a little slop in here. Now it's got friction this way, from right to left, and then up and down. In the center here is a bar. And these, and it fits in here, okay? So that is also a function of how tight these are. So if the tolerances are really good, then you're going to get less friction and it's going to be better and you're going to get better resolution now this is very cheap and for as cheap as it is it's very useful now i talked about metal slots or metal tines and how that would be better and there would probably be less friction than the plastic but of course that was going to be a lot more expensive i don't want to break the bank i'm not going to use this all the time i'm only going to use it like occasionally when I do the flooring or when I put, want to make a cabinet or something like that. So for me, it's going to work well. Now I'll show you in a video how this works, but I think it's a very useful tool to have. See, there it's, I've loosened it, but it's not quite right. I think you can probably see. Actually, it's pretty good because I've taken one of the slats out, one of the tines, and if you hold it in this direction, of course, gravity is not going to make it move. It's, it's going to make it, it's not going to make it change. So there you have it. And watch the video and see how this works. And thanks for watching. And I hope you guys are having a great day. As I said, I removed one time because you want this air here as loose can be. And you don't want a lot of friction there. So I'm going to try to hold the camera at the same time I'm doing this so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see I pushed it all the way to one end. And I'm using the points are on the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to push in right here. It's hard to do with one hand. You see, because I removed that tine, it kind of separated in the middle. But you see, I've got a nice square here not as nice as you'd like but the resolution counts on the friction in between and how thick the tines are and you can see we removed that one tine from the bigger one it's kind of loose here and i want loose this way up and down 
in this slot in the middle and on the sides. I don't want a lot of friction. Now when I first got it, it was too tight and what happened is you wouldn't see a nice corner there. You would see it stepped. Hopefully you can understand that. So for example, maybe this would be back like this because this piece pushed the next one like that. So anyway, you're going to put that on a board and you're going to trace it with a pencil. And then you're going to come back and you're going to cut it with, say, a jigsaw. And you're going to cut along your line. Now, I intend to put hardwood floor upstairs when I get to it. But I'm going to have to cut around some things. So let's try this on the bottom. And I don't think I can hold the camera. Well, I'll try it. I may have to put the camera down. So anyway, this is the bigger one. And this was the tighter of the two. So let me try, I guess, pretty much the same. Now notice I'm holding it in the middle. So where I'm holding it, I'm putting friction on it. You want to hold it by the edges, the right and left. But you can see that's a pretty good square there. Now here's the smaller of the two. Now you see it has this latch on the one end. And this design, so, okay, you take your measurement, you take your indentation, and then you push this last chamber, and it holds it in place. I don't find there's a lot of problem. Maybe as you use this, it gets looser. But if you keep it flat, you're not going to lose your shape. It's going to stay like that. Now, if you go like this, maybe it'll fall out. But it's not right now because, I guess because it's new and it's tight, and I don't have, I have a lot of friction in there. But anyway, here's the other piece. And I'll, again, I'll try to hold the camera so you can see. This time, this is small enough that I'm going to try to hold it by the end. So let's, let's point it down there. And let's see. I'll go down here. Hopefully you can see that. And that's a pretty good edge. That is a pretty good shape. Now let's try it on the round and see what that looks like. Sorry, this isn't the edge I had in mind, but it'll work just fine. So, see, that's round. I'm going to try to hold the camera again so you can see. And I'm going to push this on here like this. And this is what you get. Now, let me try the blue, blue, blue one. The one that has more friction in it. And for some reason, I found one side was better than the other. So, let me see. This is the blue one. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. And again, that is useful to me, and it's useful if I want to cut shapes. Now, as I said, I'm going to do the hardwood floors, but it would be useful for any weird shape that you want to cut around, and you want to make it fit. 